Hey yo guys, Horsal Servo is almost complete. There is only a few minor features that do not work now. So, given this, it is not likely to change much since it's almost done. So, I'm going to make a video on how to set up and run your own Horsal Servo. Um, this is mainly for Windows, there's another way to do it on Unix, which I might do later, but this one is for Windows. So, First thing you want to do is download the actual Horsal server itself. You don't want the source code, unless you want to like edit it or something. You want the Windows version. And so you want if you're using Windows 64 bit, you want to use this, and if you're using 32 bit, you want to use this. So I'm going to get the 64 bit one. Um, another thing you need is MarioDB or any SQL database, but I'm going to use MarioDB. Um, Again, you want to make sure that you're using the x86-64 version. Alright, another thing I need is PHP for Windows. Okay. Um, you go downloads, and you want to download the FredSafe x64-1 or x86 FredSafe if you're using 32-bit. I'm using 64-bit, so I'll get this one. Um, and then the next thing I need is Apache 2 for Windows, and this is a web server. So PHP um, and Apache are for the web server. MariaDB is for the um, database of the game, and then this is the actual game files itself. So make sure you get the Apache um, that matches the PHP ver matches the architecture of PHP you got. So if you got the x64 PHP, you need to get the x64 Apache. So let's download that. And okay, so now I'm gonna wait for it to finish. So as you can see, I've got all these files downloaded here. So the first thing you want to do is actually install MarioDB, and this is pretty simple. You just click accept. All right, and you make sure you go over here and click entire feature, entire feature, entire feature. And um, you want to check this one. If you know what this means and you know you need it, then check it. If you don't know what this means, then you should probably leave it disabled. Um, set a password you can remember. I'm going to just use a very complicated password of password1. Okay. Um, brilliant. And now you want to create um, and hit install. Okay, now that's done, you want to cre open up, I should, create, should install a new program called HDSQL. You want to start that. And this is a database explorer, it's you like view stuff in your database. Do you just want to start this up. Okay, as you can see, we've got a few things installed in here already. I'm going to add a new one. Um, and this is just going to be for you all name the one you just created, which password1, went to the password you, you set, and hit open. And now you want to create a new database and call it something you'll remember, say horse aisle for the, for the game. Alright, now that will just show us this. No. So now you want to extract H the um, Apache server. Open up Apache 24 folder. Go to conf. Go to httpd.conf. And scroll down till you see all these old modules and create and put that text there. Um, add handio application xhttp the dash php ph dot php add type um, and then you know, exactly like this basically. And then you want um search for index.html and you want to add after this the words index.php as well and then save that. 
and now you want to move this file folder into the root of your C drive. So next you need to extract this PHP zip um, like this and then you want to open this up and you should see this file called php.ini-production you want to rename this to just php.ini and then you want to edit this and you want to search for mysqli scroll down and uncomment this, uncomment this, and uncomment this save that and go down with php so now you just need to rename this to simply be called php and then overwrite um, move it to your c drive and there you go now if you open up your apache 23 folder and want to go bin you will not open httpd.exe if you did everything correctly you should now be able to open up this and go to localhost and receive this message this means that you've installed apache and got it running successfully um, so next let's work on to getting the horse style sites to load in here so let's first close this and we want to make um, a second we want to make a new folder called www and then you simply want to head to where you put your game files and extract this the actual horse house server program itself and then copy these files into here next you want to head to uh, conf extra and then vhosts.conf to add uncomment these and set the server name to if you're using if you have a domain name you want to enter that domain name here otherwise you can enter a anything so I'm going to go with say game or style game the horse and then I'll make this like ww game horse and the um, document root will be ww slash game site okay, and I'll just do the same for um Master horse, master horse, master site. Okay, great. So, um, next you can add these to your host file so you can actually access them from your browser. So, you can head over to System32. Drivers, etc. Hosts. Again, this is only if you don't have a domain name that you can use. If you do have a domain name, just enter it in and then make um, subdomains that point to you instead. Um, so, 
game horse and then one two seven zero zero one master horse. Okay, and that should that. And the only other thing we want to make sure is that when we head over to the Apache folder to comp httpd.com, we want to make sure this http the host file is actually included. So this one such HTTP the hosts. Okay, and you want to uncomment that so it actually does include it. Okay, and now if you run Apache 24, okay, and now if you head over here, you should be able to go to game.horse. Okay, I don't have access to this resource. So, I am going to fix that. You have to. What do you have to do for that again? Um, <laughs> HTTPD.com. Right, if to copy this thing, um, and do it for the www folder. Okay, now we restart Apache. So we close it. And start it again. Okay, and now if we go game the horse, there we go. And if we go to master that horse, um, okay, we've got a problem. This is because we haven't entered a, our database information into here. So we want to go now. That we've done all this. We've got this all working. We can go to master sites. We want to edit dbconfig.php. Okay, and you want to set the db name to whatever you named your horse owl database. So my name is horse owl. I use DB user whatever the username is, and this is the password you set, which for me was password one. Okay, and then I want to go to game site and um, edit config .php. Okay, and you want to change this from this default password to something you will remember. I'm going to go for the very secure password two. Um, you want to change this back to whatever the other details was, so password 1, um, and then horse IO. And you want to change the server IP to whatever your IP address of your computer is. And um, if you're going to be making this accessible to other users on the internet, you want to forward this port on your router. But so right now, for the purposes of this video, this will be fine. So we save that, and now when we reload this page, it should show correctly. And it does, however, this part here does not. And the reason why this part doesn't show is because our database is actually empty. So we actually need to run our server now, which is, you know, pretty important. So we'll head over to, where is it? Here, the um, files here, and there's this horsile server.exe. You want to open that? And it will immediately crash. Um, however, it will create a server.properties file when it does, which you can edit. And you can change this to be the right um, database, horse file. And you can change this to be the password you set. And instead of saying so, like for example, if you want to disable the chat photo, you can simply set this to false, um, set this to false, and set this to false. Now, let's say all the chat filters, for example. You can um, make every user a subscriber, which I'm going to do. Um, and you can change the interest rate as well. Um, and you can also change the um, today's note message here. 
So let's save the private properties file. And now if we run our server. Should tell us that a bunch of stuff doesn't exist and it's not generating items. On this generating items step, will take a while. Like it could be, it will be like several minutes um, for the first time we do this. So I'll get back to you once this is done. Okay, so the server has started up. So I'm just going to allow it through the firewall. And you should be see yes the screen versus waiting for connections. If you now reload this page, it should do it properly. Um, and you can now create an account. So let's do that. Okay, sure. And I'm going to just skip all this. Um, except I am 13 or older. I must want to make myself called Silica. Now this powerful thing is actually um this power is actually the website power of it is actually very experimental and doesn't work quite cool too well. So just be careful when you're creating an account, you might end up breaking something. Um but as you can see how I did this fine, so now um I can actually log in. But I can go to, um, if I have a browser that supports Flash, I can just open this up. Um, this one supports Flash. I'm going to go to Horse Isle PHP and activate Flash. Yeah, it should connect. I should be able to log in. And as you can see, I am now in the game. Um, but you see, I'm a normal user, I'm not an admin. So, if you want to become an admin, you go game the horse to search admin. And that password you set earlier in the config that I told you was very important, you type that in password too. Alright, and now I can just type in my username and say I want to be an admin and a moderator. Hit apply. And now I should now be a mod an admin and a moderator. If I go back to the game. So if I type in now all the commands, like go to area Ayrton, it won't be Ayrton. So yeah, easy. That's how I set up your own house all seven. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.